Hi, I'm Ms. McGuffin and I'm the Work-Based Learning Specialist with Calvert County Public Schools. And I want to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about some internships and apprenticeships that we have available. We have inter student internships called Career Exploration where you go out in the community and you work with a mentor who will teach you about their job. It's a great opportunity to learn a little bit about a career that you're interested in for the future. Our student internships last for 50 hours. So you work for a company for 50 hours, either over the summer or over the school year, however you work out your schedule. You earn one elective credit when you've completed all your assignments and your 50 hours. And internships can be in a variety of careers. We have everything from with the state's attorney's office to county government, to doctor's offices, the hospital, um, even real estate. So there's a lot of opportunity for you. So what do you need to do to get an internship? Fill out an online application. You can go to this link here, or you can go to the CTA school website, go under programs, and then choose internship application. Once you do that, I will reach out to you to do an interview with me. And after the interview, you'll need to submit a resume and then have a packet where your parents and you review things. You both sign off on being in the program. Once I receive that back, I'll develop a, a prospective mentor for you and you'll meet with them and determine how you want to start working. Apprenticeship Maryland. This is an apprenticeship program where we work with the state of Maryland, their Department of Labor, and Maryland uh, Public Schools. The Apprenticeship Maryland program is 450 hours of work time, so this is a longer commitment. You also earn four credits when you've completed this. Three of them are due to your apprenticeship and your working, and you do one uh, class that's related instruction for your apprenticeship. This is also a pathway to graduation, so just as criminal justice is a pathway to graduation, this is a pathway to get you to graduate. And for apprenticeships, we have specific opportunities available. So there are specific businesses that have agreed to do the apprenticeship program, and I'll go over them in a minute. What apprenticeship opportunities exist? We have auto technician at Fitzgerald Auto in Lexington Park. We have a home health aide and an administrative assistant through Loving Care Senior Services. We have a sprinkler technician and a CAD design support with Bayside Fire Protection, and they're one of our newest uh, apprenticeship places. And then we also have a brand new uh, apprenticeship place for daycare, and you would do childcare there. The Apprenticeship Maryland program, how do you get in? You fill out an online interest form just like for internships, and there's the link. Or you can go to the CTA School Programs website, and you'll find it there as Apprenticeship Interest Form. I'll, com I'll complete an interview with you, and once we go through the interview process, I'll have you submit a resume, a cover letter, and then an official application. The official application is to the Department of Labor. It's very simple, and I'll help you through it if you need any help. And then for the apprenticeship program, you actually interview with prospective employers and they will hire you just like they hire anyone else. So you have to follow their hiring procedures. So how are internship and apprenticeship alike? Well, both of them, you need to have reliable transportation to get to work. Both of them go through an interview process with me. You need to be committed to attend work as scheduled and on time, so commitment is key. Both of them, you need to submit a resume, and you need to have good attendance at school. Employers say one of the best things that say that someone's going to show up for work is if they're showing up for school. And how do the programs differ? For internship, it's 50 hours. For apprenticeship, it's 450 hours. Internship is a short-term commitment. It's only 50 hours and you're not promising anything to the employer, you're learning from them. For apprenticeship, it's a long-term commitment. You're gonna do this for a year and the goal for apprenticeship is that you will work with them after you graduate, that you have a job upon graduation. 
internships, it's a way to try out a career or course of study. I had a student that didn't know if they wanted to, to do um, business or being a lawyer. They did their internship with the state's attorney's office and determined that being a lawyer was not for them, and they are now at Wake Forest doing the business program. For apprenticeship, it's a career path that you want to do for the next several years. It's something you know you're interested in, and you can now get a jump start on getting that career off, off to a good start. Internships are one elective credit, while apprenticeship is four credits and it's a pathway to graduation. Internships are usually unpaid. It's more about the experience and learning if this is what you want to do. For apprenticeship, all positions are paid and hopefully this is where you're going to stay and it's your long-term placement. If you're ready to jumpstart your career, you can go ahead and submit the forms for internship or apprenticeship. They're on the CTA website under our programs, or you can use these links. Or if you have some more questions, feel free to shoot me an email. It's McGuffinM, and I'll get back to you and answer all your questions. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.